everybody. Um, we are here with a little extra soldier video. My friend insists on quick fix jumping me. I'm not gonna. J I'm gonna tell him that. I'm not gonna jump much. Mostly explain. Anyway, this is the basics of rocket jumping, kind of. And the point of this is to show you guys, because I see a lot of people who don't know how to rocket jump a soldier, and it's pretty important. So, okay. When you're playing any class with really explosives, um, what you can do is you can basically propel yourself with your own explosives. So, you can just shoot at the ground, it'll launch me up in the air, right? But I'm not going very high. Like, I can't get over this wall just doing this. Not gonna happen. So, basically there's ways you can increase how high you can jump. Um, and that's kind of essentially what rocket jumping is, is just jumping around so you can get up, like, really high. So, okay, the first thing you can do is you can jump and shoot a rocket. And you go up significantly higher. Um, generally, this is something I see people doing really bad, is they will jump either way too early, in which case, the reason that doesn't work is that you lose some of your upward momentum, because your gravity, you know, gravity takes effect. Gen right when you jump is when you have your highest upward momentum. So you want the rocket to hit the ground right as you're jumping away from it to get the maximum height. And also, the reason that's good is because it... Think of the think of yourself as a center of mass. You have a center of mass as a soldier. It's like in the middle of your chest or whatever. When you're really high up in the air and you shoot a rocket directly below you, you're gonna it's gonna be far from your center of mass. Like okay, way over there. The rocket's not even close enough to hit me. And I mean that's an extreme example. But if you're jumping really high and you shoot it, you, it's the rocket's so far away from you, it's not gonna propel you far. Whereas if you're close to the ground when you jump, you go significantly higher. So I can just shoot the rock. Okay, I messed up that time. I'm not crouch jumping, which I'll explain in a second, but. Ugh. Ugh. I can't even really get over that crouch jumping. You can, but I just suck. Anyway, basically, if you just walk forward, jump, and do like that, you can make it over the first part. Surprise. You made it over the first part without even using crouch, which is basically something you have to do for harder ones. Um, but that's really basic. Um, generally, looking straight down like this is not very good, because all that does is shoot you straight up in the air. Um, generally, something you really want to do is learn to twist your rockets behind you so you turn around like this and you shoot them behind you because when you shoot them behind you that propels you forward more than just shooting them you know at your feet at you. if you shoot them at your feet you're already gonna go straight up basically and whichever momentum you already have so I'm walking forward so I'm gonna keep my forward momentum whereas if I'm walking forward and I shoot behind me I'm going to gain even more forward momentum actually quite a bit and this is where rocket jumping becomes very useful for traveling is you can increase your forward momentum a lot and that's why rocket jumping is extremely useful even in regular games, which I'm not doing right now. I'm just doing this as demonstration purposes. So, um, Okay, so a lot of people can do the jump rocket. That's not that hard. It's two buttons, jump and rocket. Um, what's really more difficult, and something that I would say I even I don't know exactly, is doing a crouch jump. Now, a crouch jump is a strange little beastie in the sense that you want to... If you... If you um, Okay, so basically the reason that reason crouching is good is because it pushes your center of mass closer to the rocket is why it's good, right? But the problem is, is if you're crouching, you can't jump. However, there's a slight period where if you press crouch and you jump, you can still jump while crouched. So what you want to do is you want to press crouch just ever so slightly before you jump. And then you can just beast it because then, then your center of mass is closer to the ground when you're jumping, and if you jump at the exact right time, your center mass is really close to the ground when you are jumping, and it just propels you, because, I mean, then you're basically like a tiny little ball right next to the ground, and then your rocket hits behind you, and you just go flying. So that's basic, that's the very basics, is, just remember one thing, I, I see a lot of people miss time in the crouch. You crouch, okay, if you want to do it really easy, you can crouch at the exact same time you jump, however, you will get slightly more distance, I believe, if you do it just before you jump. So, if you really want to get if you really want to get good, got to jump right before. Got to crouch right before you jump. So, crouch jump shoot. Jumping and shooting basically at the same time. It depends sometimes. If you you have to take into account the travel time of the rocket. You want the rocket to hit your feet just as you're jumping, basically. Or you want the rocket to detonate just as you're jumping. Sometimes if you're shooting rockets really far behind you, it actually takes a fair bit of time. So, you want to shoot. I was too far behind you, but you want to shoot um 
you want to jump a little bit after you shoot rather than at the same time. If you're shooting straight below you, you can get away with jumping at the same time as you shoot and you'll still get really high. Um, so, this wall is basically to teach us how to just do a vertical jump, which, you know, you can just walk forward and do that one. You can't do that on this one. Watch what happens. Okay, I didn't even hit the ground, but... You hit the ceiling, right? So it's like, what can I do? This is exactly where I was talking about. You have to learn how to turn and shoot behind you. So you turn and you shoot behind you. I shot too far behind me. But you turn, you shoot behind you, and it gives you forward momentum. For the same reason, you can also shoot in front of you, and it will actually propel you backwards. I see a lot of people rocket jumping like this. Um, that's really bad, because first of all, you're not looking where you're going when you do that. Um, so like, let's say I'm trying to kill this demo man. Well, he, he I guess I killed him because he exploded. No. But um, say I'm trying to do this jump, and I'm like, okay, I'm just going to go, ugh. Oh, wait, I jumped way too early because I couldn't see the wall, so I didn't know when to jump. And it's just like, well, it sucks to be you. You really do have to learn how to turn and aim. Anyway, um, that's really the main basics. If I were to say you guys wanted to learn rocket jumping, you have to know how to do, do the crouch jump at the right time, basically. Learn how to crouch jump, and you have to shoot rockets. The next hardest part is learning where to shoot your rockets to propel yourself in the direction you want. If you shoot them right below you, that's basically just to gain height. Um, but generally, that's not that useful. There are some levels where it's useful. But generally, a lot of times you want to, like, say, catch up to somebody really fast because the soldier moves slow. And that's where you want to shoot behind you. And you can go after them and stuff. What I just did there was a wall jump. That's a little more advanced. Um, but what I've basically just shown you is more than enough for most basic people. I would say you just have to get out there and practice. Remember to do the crouch jump. Crouch, do a little crouch jump, shoot your rocket, and you can go pretty darn high. I mean, I'm not like super into focus mode, but I can easily clear. I can almost clear this wall probably just with a crouch jump. Yeah, almost. You're supposed to do a wall jump on this. Okay. So, for those of you who want to get a little bit more advanced than just pointing and clicking and jumping and crouching all at the same time, um, there are some more jumps. This one is very easy. This is a like a wall, wall jump kind of thing. All you do is you go at the wall and you shoot the wall on the rock, um, on the wall below you, and it will propel you upwards. Um, even if you don't really want to learn how to do this stuff very in depth, like the more advanced jumps, it's still very useful to try them, because they really do. Like this one really does make sure you're paying attention where you're shooting your rockets. Because watch this, this one you have to jump off the wall, so you have to jump up here and then shoot another rocket off the wall to propel yourself over. So. Oh, what's that? I shot my rocket too high. I was right about there, and I shot the rocket above me. I did that on purpose. So, I mean, that's what I'm talking about. Th this type of jump is really good for practicing where you're aiming your rockets. Because you want to shoot them down and, well, ideally a little bit down and behind you. The behind you, for most wall jumps, I would say you want to focus on height on the main one, and then you want to use your wall jumps to gain horizontal speed. So you'd want to shoot your wall jumps a little bit behind you. Um... And it's also useful to try these because what they do is they teach you how to count, how to deal with your momentum. Because you don't want to show I messed up, but you don't want to shoot your rocket directly be like behind you because you already have momentum. So you kind of almost want to shoot it straight at your side to get the uh, horizontal momentum because you're already moving really fast. So yeah, that's kind of that. So yeah, I mean, I would say if you guys want to learn how to rocket jump, you need to come on a server and mess around. Just remember. For the love of God, the basics, you have to master the basics. If you can't do crouch jump shoot, that's the first thing you have to know. Practice it. Do like those, do like these, the jumps, like number two and three and stuff. That's how you can get it down. These guys are pretty bad. They apparently can't even do this one. This one's super easy. This is actually very applicable, the jump right here. Because on two fort, you can do this. In two fort in the water, you can um, jump out of the water that's underneath the bridge. And you can jump up on the, like, platforms above. Basically, all you do is you hug the wall, you hold crouch, and you shoot the rocket below you, and you'll easily clear it. Pretty freaking easy. Um, this one, okay. Now we're getting to some really advanced things. Generally, crouch jumping and that type of thing is really good just for moving around. Um, but there are times when you will need more control when you want to move. Like, I, there's a platform behind this wall. I want to get to it. You may be asking yourself if you don't really know how to rocket jump. This guy's trying to jump with a sticky... <sighs> Dig around, don't jump with the Scottish Resistance. You'll never be able to do it. Yeah, you, you can't jump with the Scottish Resistance sticky jumping. It detonates stickies under your feet as well as the ones you're pointing at. It can work. 
Yeah, but they have to be directly under your feet, so you can't get any horizontal speed. It's it's not good. You can't you can't jump with the sticky bomb launcher. It's impossible. Impossible. Anyway, I'm not gonna argue with that guy who obviously doesn't know. So, basically, there's a thing in TF2 called strafing. What you do is I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do it right here. You're gonna watch. Okay. So if I want to strafe to the left, it makes kind of a circular path. So I can curve around this wall over there. It's like that stupid movie that can curve bullets, except you're curving soldiers. So, what you do essentially to curve is you mouse in one direction. Like, say you want to curve to the right, you mouse to the right while also holding down D. And you have to very slowly mouse. So you're, you're like you're like doing this. You're just going mouse, 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 and you just do that. And it's very easy. So in this case, I'd go to the left. So I'd hold down my left move key A while curving my mouse, while curving my aimer to the left. So I just completely curve the shit out of that. And I mean, you can't. That's a. Pr that's a. That's actually this skill is extremely important, especially at high level play with soldier. Because oftentimes you'll strafe like that to avoid projectiles, and you can strafe around walls. You can strafe around walls like you can rocket jump. Like say you don't want somebody to see you, you can hide behind a wall and rocket jump to get speed. But you can strafe around the wall so they won't. They won't see you rocket jumping, so you can see them. Because a lot of times I see people rocket jump like aggressively, but they'll jump when I know they're going to jump. Like I see them jump. They're obviously getting ready to jump because they're like looking at the ground. They're like looking at the ground. And that's another thing to know how to do the, how to like quick flick behind you because it, dis it disguises your intentions to rocket jump. And then you also need to... You just have to like... It's very important to disguise your actions. And I mean, that's one thing strafing is good for. Like you could all of a sudden be going straight ahead and then whip off to the right and quick hit somebody and it's just like they won't expect that i mean they can't tell you're gonna do that until you start doing it anyway this one's pretty easy because i just messed it up it's basically just a wall climb like that other one except you have to jump off the edge man i'm sucking that up well like this is super easy there we go and this one you basically just jump um it's just a wall climb and then you shoot a rocket kind of more in front of you instead of just below you and it'll propel you over here this is another uh curve one pretty easy. I'm pretty bad at strafing just because I've developed some bad habits. Um, when you're strafing, you don't want to hold down W, but I always do just because I'm a freaking idiot. That one is... This is, where, this is a good example, number nine, of where you have to know what... Like, how to aim rockets. Like, if you watch that again, you'll see I aimed my rocket almost at shoulder height. I jumped up. I shot it, like, like right there. That's almost... That's like at my head height. That's at head height. I jumped up, and so it was probably about my shoulders. I basically put it there because I don't want to go high. Because if you go high on this, you're going to hit the ceiling and just bounce down to the ground. You want to keep yourself low. Like, I didn't hit the ceiling at all. It just popped right over. And that's what I'm talking about. You have to just goof around. Just goof around. And, um... Just goof around and practice your rocket placements and figure out how it works. Because, I mean, rocket jumping, it's not... It's, it's intuitive in the sense that, you know, you can explode yourself. But it's not intuitive in the sense that there are a lot of... You have to just get used to it. This one is a strafe followed by a wall climb. So it's not too crazy hard. Yeah. And then... Uh, ooh, this one's skipping. I'll explain this as well for those people who want to know. Skipping is basically where you don't touch the ground. Like, if you touch this here, I'll touch this platform. It just sends me back to the beginning. I want to get down there. But... Um, this is skipping. This can be useful in games. Um, I won't recommend doing it unless you have overheal or gunboats. But it really lets you... It actually increases your momentum. And it really gives you a lot of... Like, people don't expect... Like, even wall jumps where you do something like this. Oh, the, you can't touch these walls because they don't want you to wall jump. They want you to skip. But um, wall jumps and stuff, they're very useful even in actual play. Because they confuse your enemies. Because if you're jumping next to a wall, they don't think you're going to... Like, they underestimate your speed, and then you can do a wall jump to increase your speed a lot and surprise people. So these kind of tricky jump things, I mean, they can be useful sometimes to confuse people. Anyway, this one is... Uh, I see a lot of people mess up this one because they, they fall into this. They fall into this. They, they try and do the shoot straight below them rocket. And it does not work on this one. You have to have a lot of forward momentum before you can um, do this. I didn't do that one well enough. Still didn't do that one well enough. Sometimes I have trouble on this one. Just because I suck sometimes. I can like never get the right angle of approach at that thing, but um 
Also, it doesn't help that my mouse is stupid. We'll see how long it takes me to do this. <laughs> Some days... I haven't actually rocket jumped in a really long time, so I'm bad. Like, done any, um, like, trick rocket jumps. That time I freaked out. But, I mean, this stuff is kind of just tricky. I mean, you don't, like, have to know how to do skips to really do stuff. I'm really bad at skipping, actually. Like, see, that one I went too high. I'm trying to really just keep myself low to the ground, but I'm kind of sucking right now anyway. But, I mean, yeah, this is basically just me sucking. I don't know why I can't do this. I used to be able to do this, like, every time I wanted to. Okay, serious mode face. I'm, I'm shooting too far behind me, I think. God dang. Let's try this some more. One thing you can do is you can, um... Ah, oh, I messed it up. You can jump off that wall if you need more hor for horizontal momentum on this map. God dang, I suck. Anyway, I might end it here because I apparently can't do this one and I suck so much. But, um... Ooh, let's see if we can do a demo. I could, actually, that's something I should do. Um, since I can't seem to do this one because I suck, um, I'll show you guys how to sticky jump quick in case you guys care. Um, this Sticky jumping is basically rocket jumping except you use stickies. Um, like I said, scotch resistance is bad because you either have to you either have to look at the stickies as you detonate them, which like you have to do with the scotch resistance, or you have to be directly on top of them. Like right here, if I was standing right here jumping and like looking this way, scotch resistance stickies would not detonate, but these will. Um, you can sticky jump way further than you can rocket jump. I just totally cleared that entire thing with one sticky, so. I mean, it's pretty... Sticky jumping is a lot easier to do. So I'm not too concerned about showing you guys how to do it, because it's basically just, um... You know... Figuring out... It's more about learning the angle at which you, um... Jump on your stickies. It's kind of like... Instead of aiming your rocket in this... Instead of aiming your rocket like a soldier in this, you aim your body where you want yourself to be when the sticky explodes. And then you just detonate it. So it's pretty freaking easy. I mean, you can do some really tricky stuff with with demo man. I'm not like belittling demo man jumping. I actually think demo man jumping, like doing it really well, is way harder than soldier jumping in a lot of cases. But I mean, like this one, this one you'd have to do a bunch of freaking complex wall jumps. Well, not really complex, but you can make it one, two, three. Like you can see those black things, like one, two, three, and you could just strafe over here. But. It's just like, Demo Man, this, cause this is a soldier map, so it's super easy for Demo Man. Like, I don't know what this guy's doing. Is this like, okay, this one's actually hard for Demo Man. <laughs> this one's really hard for Demo Man. We'll go back to soldier. I'll try and fi I'll try and finish this map before, um, oh crap, I think I, I typed the wrong thing. <laughs> no, I did. Ooh. Anyway, so this one is basically, you need to climb this wall. I didn't have a good enough first jump. A lot of these maps, it's all about your first jump. That's what I'm talking about. You have to really... Oh, I messed it up. You really have to learn your basics so you can get really good, like, gaining jumps. Because otherwise, it's just... You, if you don't have a good starting jump, you're not going to be able to do these. It's very important just to master the crouch jumping aspect of rocket jumping. But, um... That's basically just the really most important important thing, is mastering the crouch jump and then the shooting afterwards. Because, I mean, that is by far the most important thing for beginning rocket jumpers to learn. I'm not a pro rocket jumper. I, I know enough rocket jumping to get by in, like, actual TF2 play. But, yeah. Rocket jumping is extremely important if you want to play soldier, and sticky jumping is very important if you want to play demo man as well. I th I don't th I don't see enough demo man sticky jumping. It's extremely useful. Basically, just makes it impossible for people to get away from you, and you can get to objectives all fast. There we go. I did it. You had to shoot. You had to shock on that one thing. Anyway, this one's pretty easy. Um, generally, you want to jump on the right side of the wall because your rockets come out of the right, unless you're using the original. You can also switch to view models so rockets come out of the left. But, um, jumping out of the left is basically, you just have to turn your body more. Like, I turned it too much there, actually. I shot too far behind me. Ah, dang it, I suck at this one. I'm like, this one's easy. I keep saying these ones are easy, and then I suck at them. 
I'm not getting enough horizontal speed. Is what I'm doing. But yeah. The map's gonna switch soon and I'll probably end it then. Because Yeah, not really much else to show. I should just actually like focus and do it. You can see how high I got, jeez. Yeah, wall jumping's really good if you want to get height. Like see, the thing is, when I'm doing my left one, I'm shooting too far below me. And I, I shoot myself up too much. I mean, just playing these maps, it basically kind of gives you those senses so you can tell like I'm not shooting it far enough behind me because I mean you do have to turn a lot more to shoot it behind you because the rockets come out of the right and that's the mistake I'm making because oftentimes I don't jump enough um see there I got a lot more speed I don't jump enough on my left so you know I'm not used to it really so I'm kinda bad at it so this is very good for me to practice this because I'm, I'm I've been neglecting my rocket jumping duties as it were anyway Probably gonna quit now just because the server's gonna change maps. So hopefully you guys found this insightful. Just remember, crouch jumping and aim crouch jumping is like the most important thing you can do ever. Literally. I mean that that's how you rocket jump. If you don't crouch jump, you are messing up your rocket jump. And I mean I'm just gonna disconnect quick so I can talk a little bit more. You can do all sorts of stuff, rocket jumping, like mess around with when you fire a rocket when you're jumping. Sometimes you don't wanna fire it right away. Sometimes you wanna wait to fire it. Because if you fire, you don't always want the max jump distance. You can reduce the distance you travel by, say, shooting the rocket farther away from you, shooting it, f like, more, like, later after you jump, not, like, immediately as you jump, but later after, so you do lose some of the upper momentum, so you ha you don't go as far. Um, like, e you can do really short rocket jumps just to get over people's heads and stuff, just to fuck with them. And if you want to, like, market garden people, sometimes you don't want to do, like, a super-duper huge jump, but... So yeah, hopefully you guys found this a little insightful. I mean, soldier j rocket jumping is a lot harder than sticky jumping. Do not sticky jump with the Scottish resistance. Literally, the only way you can do it properly is you do have to actually look at the sti stickies as you detonate them. Unless you want to go, like, straight up. If you want to go, like, straight up, you can just stand over the top of your sticky and do it. But the Scottish resistance explosion radius, when you, like, they have to be, they have to be like, right below you before they'll explode. They just do not explode. <laughs> it's really annoying. If I would well, Scottish resistance, Scottish resistance is kind of shit anyway. So, I would just say if you're planning on doing any sticky jumping, use the regular sticky bomb launcher. It's basically the only thing to do. The only thing it's it's, it's what's there for. Okay. Um. Yeah. I guess that's basically it. So yeah, crouch jumping. Do it. Not enough people do the actual crouch. I see tons of people not crouch. If you don't crouch, you aren't going to go nearly as far. You're going to take, like, the same amount of damage, and you're not going to go as far. And, I mean, you know, sometimes you don't want to go as far, obviously. But crouching also gives you more maneuverability in the air when you're strafing. I would say when you're in the air, you always want to hold down crouch, basically. I mean, there's really no reason you shouldn't. I mean, sometimes you don't want to. I mean, it, there are some situations where uncrouching can be good because it does stop you faster if you want to. But um, that's really adv more advanced stuff. Just I would just say if you're new to rocket jumping, always crouch when, while you're in the air. Just make sure you crouch right away when you when you land because otherwise you're going to be like crouching around, walking, and that's not very good. Anyway, that's basically it for my sort of rocket jumping tutorial that really wasn't that in depth. I didn't really explain any of the me too many of like the innermost mechanics, but. Crouch jump is the way to go. So I'll just leave you guys with that, and I'll see you guys next time.